Hi, if you are new in data science domain, then you have to learn how to use the Excel. Without the basic skills of the Excel, it will be hard for you to handle the data. Therefore, on our channel, we are going to begin a new stream to teach you fundamentals of Excel. If you are new here, then please hit the subscribe button. Today, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use sum, sumif, and sum ifs functions. These are the built-in formulas. So let's try to explore these functions on this Excel sheet. On this Excel sheet, we are going to have the salaries of employees of one company that is present worldwide. Some of the employees, as you can see it here, will, are working in United States, some are working in Great Britain, some are working in France, and some are working in other localities of the world. Let's assume that you want to calculate the total number of the salaries which company is paying per annum. In this case, you are going to use the sum function. To use the sum function, you have to press the equal sign and then write sum. As you will write sum, the Excel will also give you some of the more functions in the drop down menus which will be related to the sum. Then you have to open the parentheses and need to provide the column where you want to have your values of sum. In this case, we have a column i. We are going to select i to i. We are not going to specify any cells to keep this column dynamic. What does it mean by dynamic? The dynamic means that if in future some other salaries are also entered into this column, so then the sum will be automatically updated. Then we need to close the parentheses and hit the enter button. This is a total salaries which company is paying to its employees per annum. Now let's try to explore the sum if function. In the sum if function, we are going to use certain conditions. For example, you want to calculate the total number of the salaries of those employees who are working in United States. In this case, the sum function is not going to help you. Therefore, we will use the sum if function, which will help us to use the sum function with a specific condition. So let's try to explore that how we can use the sum if function. Again, you will press the equal sign, then write down sum if. Now, as you will write down sum if, again, you can see here that there will be a drop down menu and the Excel is letting you know some more functions which will be related to sum if. Then you need to open the parentheses. Now here you have to provide the range and criteria. Now the range on which we want to apply our criteria is our E column which is the country where we want to apply our condition or the criteria. So let's select the E column. Here again we are going to select E to E. We are not going to specify the cells to keep it dynamic. Now we will put the comma and then we will write down the United States in comma inverted comma. Now you can see it here that we apply the range 
and then we apply the condition and finally we have to apply the sum range. The sum range in this case will be the salaries. So let's select the whole salaries column. Close the parentheses and hit the enter button. As you can see it here, this is a total number of the salaries which company is paying to its employees who are working in United States. This is a sum if function. Now let's try to explore the sum ifs function. Let's assume that you have a multiple conditions. In this case, the sum if function will not be helpful for you. In this case, we will use some ifs function which will help us to apply the multiple conditions. Let's assume that you want to calculate the total number of the salaries of the employees who are working in United States and they are female. In this case, let's see that how we will use the sum ifs function. To use the sum ifs function, let's press the equal sign, then write down the sum ifs and open the parentheses and apply the sum range. The sum range in our case is the salaries column. So let's select i to i to make again this one dynamic. Then Put the comma. Now you have to apply the criteria range 1. The criteria range 1 in our case is the country column. Now we have to apply the criteria now. The criteria in this case is the country which is a United States. We will write down the United States in the comma inverted commas. This is our criteria 1 or the condition 1. Now we will apply the condition 2. And the condition 2 is a gender column which is D. So we will select D to D to make it dynamic. And then we will apply our criteria and the criteria is female within a comma inverted commas and we will close the parentheses and hit the enter button. Now we will have the total amount of the salaries which company is paying to its female employees working in the United States. Hopefully now you will have a good idea how to use some some if and some ifs function in the Excel.